Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and I appreciate each and every one of you. So the last time I did a tool video, you really liked it. And that video has over 30,000 views and I get a lot of questions and it was just a great video. And I love to show you tools, whether it's software, whether it's physical tools, to save you time, make you more efficient. And you know what, all the haters out there, forget them. Do what you're gonna do, use the tools. Tools make you better. So the tool that we're gonna look at tonight, this particular brand, this is the Data Shark um, Keystone Jack Termination Tool. So what this does is it um, terminates Keystone Jacks. You know what a keystone jack is? This is the keystone jack. So like you're used to seeing these in the uh, in a uh, in a wall plate. There's a lot of patch panels. I really like the patch panels that use these guys. It makes it a lot easier. But the most most of the places you're going to see this is going to be like in your in your wall plate patch panel things like that. Now when you buy these, and I'll go over the brand. This this brand is uh, Legrand, and it is the on cue and this tool this data shark tool is specifically meant to work with these jacks so i'm going to show you how to terminate one of these jacks normally when you buy jacks if you've ever bought keystone jacks um you'll know what this is this is the plastic tool that all the manufacturers send with their keystone jacks and we are not going to really use this. We're going to take this and we're going to we're going to set it to the side. The other way that you can terminate these. Now, before all the uh experts blow up here. Yes, I know that in my punch down tool, that is a 66 blade. That is not uh it keeps that is a 66 blade. That is not uh that's not a 110 blade. So when you share tools, and this is a standard punch down tool, um, when you share tools, things get lost. And I loaned out my uh, punch down tool to somebody that you may or may not have seen on the channel, and they lost my 66 or my uh, 110 blade. So all I have left is my 66 blade. But this is just to show you that sometimes you use a standard punch down tool. On these sometimes the jacks that you get will come with proprietary tools but some of the things that I want to talk about so we talked about that this is the data shark keystone jack termination tool uh, this particular rig is set up for cat 5 e you can get it in cat 6 and you can actually if you if you look on here you can see that there are screws in there so you can actually replace um, you can actually replace this tool in here and go with cat six, whatever else they, they happen to have. I am using the Legrand cat five E. So these come in many, 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 um, different flavors from different manufacturers. There are a lot of these tools. I'm going to put links to all of the tools that I found, uh, Amazon links down below. Those are affiliate links. Um, I did, you know, I did buy this myself. They did not send this to me. This is the brand that I use as a daily driver. I use this a lot. And anybody who's used one of these can tell you that it makes your Keystone Jacks. Um, I feel that you get a better, um, better quality termination. And I've not had to go back and redo any that I've done with this tool. Whereas sometimes when people uh, will, you know, use this little plastic piece of that comes comes with it and that's really the only way that I can describe I can describe this this little plastic tool the plastic the plastic tool um, or they even if they use a regular punch down tool um, if they don't make sure that it's in there and trim the wires and all of that um, you know you can go back you can have cable problems you can have quality issues and using this we've terminated hundreds of these uh, jacks with this tool and we've had zero failures at this point. So, like I said, there are other other manufacturers, uh, Monoprice, Cables to Go, um, just to name a few. But you want to make sure that when you buy this tool, that you're also buying the jacks that are compatible, because not every Keystone jack is compatible. So, 
if you've got a favorite brand off of some of these links that I'm using, um, you'll see that um, there's one manufacturer of this tool that sells like nine different heads for this thing for different popular uh, keystone jacks. So you're just going to want to be aware of what you're buying and make sure that everything's compatible and everything works together. So uh, what I've got is we've got our trusty dusty uh, ideal cable uh, sheath stripper. I've got a length of Cat 5E. Of course I have the jack. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slow this process down but I'm we're going to sh actually show you how to terminate one of these cables. All right, we will not be using the standard punch down tool. So I'm going to take this, everybody say, oh, I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it back in the tool bag. I will not be using the supplied plastic 110, whatever they call this thing. Call it what you want. I will not be using this. So this is going to go back in the tool bag. We will be using our ideal cable stripper and we will be using this jack and the data shark tool so the data shark tool has this um, clip on the back to make sure that the jaws always stay closed so when you're using it you do have to take that so the jaws will open up now you will notice too that when you're dealing with this this jack is only going to fit in here one way so you have to make sure that uh, you make sure you know which way the jack goes in so it goes goes in like this all right if I turn it around it won't go in will not go in so that is the way this jack goes in so our cable is going to come in through this side we're going to terminate on a B standard and you see if I can get in any closer on this all right so cable's gonna come in on the blue and brown side. So it's gonna come in like this. And we're gonna strip this off. We're gonna lay that in there and then we are gonna terminate this. Uh, there are also instructions on the back, just in case you forgot. The jacks are also labeled to tell you which is the uh, A standard and which is the B standard we will be doing the B standard. All right, so first things first, take a little bit of cable. All right, no rip cord in this guy, so we are just gonna get to work. Now remember, our cable's gonna come in on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this around so I can work on it and I'm going to lay the cables in there according to the B standard. Make sure you can see this. So it's going to go uh, in the beginning here or at the front it's going to go uh, light blue blue or white blue. People get triggered when I say light blue. Uh, so I will say white blue so we're going to lay this in here like this and we're going to go uh, white blue blue and if you're not trying to capture this on um, on video it does go a lot faster especially when you're in the field i can do this uh, in a ceiling and not have any problems and do uh, many of these in an hour so and i've had people who were skeptical of this tool if you're watching this video you know who you are and uh, once they used the tool, they were like, oh, this is awesome. We should have been using this a long time ago. And I said, I told you. All right, so then we're going to go green and then white green. Okay, so there's our first row, and we're just going to push them down there with our fingers. Then we're going to come over to the other side. And we are brown, white brown on this side. What did I say? Brown. So there's brown and then white brown. And then we are going to be white, orange, orange.
light orange, orange. Now, a lot of you are saying, oh, I could shove that down in there with a screwdriver and I can take this shortcut and I can take that shortcut. Well, good luck because your cable's probably going to run like crap after a while. Um, so I know people try to find shortcuts instead of buying tools to make themselves better. So this, this actually, this wiring could probably be a little bit better, but it's for demonstration purposes only. And this is not going to be installed. As you can see, the other end of the cable is cut. So there it is all laid out. So now what we're going to do, slide the jack in like so and watch. All of those are now punched and cut perfectly. Okay, then I'm going to take my um, little cover here. And I'm going to snap that on. And now I have a perfectly terminated jack ready to go. And I guarantee you that you can say what you want, but if you use one of these, instead of trying to do these shortcuts, you're going to be much happier. You can really start going quickly and you can do it, you know, if you need to terminate one of these in the ceiling, you can do this much easier than you can use any of the other tools. Um, you know, so, I mean, this is just one tool. If you're not comfortable with this tool and you're comfortable with one of those other tools, use one of those other tools. All right, that's it for this video. This is just a, like I said, a review of the DataShark Keystone Jack termination tool. There are many other brands that do the same thing. I will leave links to those, Amazon links down below. And I think I covered everything. So just remember an investment in good tools will make you better. Um, if you've ever tried to do a job without the right tools and you've tried to shortcut something or had to try to do something properly and you didn't have the right tools, you know how difficult it can be and how the quality um, can really suffer. So buy tools that make you better. And maybe it's not this tool. Maybe it's another tool, but the tools are an investment. Tools will make you better. So I think that's really all I wanted to say about this. Like I said, the links are down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting in wired or wireless networking, whether it's Wi-Fi or fixed wireless, if you need voice over IP best practice consulting or information security awareness and assurance, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will contact you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we will find you a vendor who can. That is our promise to you. If you'd like to become a patron on Patreon, that link is down below. I want to thank all those folks. If you want to talk to us on Discord, the link is down below. And if you want to uh, buy any of the gear you see here on the channel, we do have that Amazon store down below. Once again, I want to thank you for being here from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Happy holidays if you're watching this when the video is released. And as always, I will see you in the next video.